Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have a 2003 Accord 2.4. Complaint on it is that it's making a whining noise and the customer feels that it's not charging properly. He did put a, um, a voltmeter in the cigarette lighter and it's showing, um, it's dropping to about 11 volt, 11 and a half volts, or 11.9 volts. Uh, so what I wanted to do was, I wanted to come out here and take a quick look. This thing is warm, but not hot. It's been sitting here for a little while. Uh, I can, you know, touch the motor. Obviously it's not uh, scalding hot at all, just warm. And what I wanted to do was, I just wanted to t take a listen to it and uh, put a meter on here, which I have the meter set up already. Battery's new in it. Uh, that was done about a month ago and the noise just started yesterday so we're gonna take a look and see what we got Let's see if you guys stay there I'll start it up of course I didn't hear the noise now but I do have a meter on here I'm gonna show you we are not charging properly Okay, that's one thing. All right. And I do hear that noise. I don't know if you guys are picking it up. But what I want to do is I want to take a look here through the thermal camera. I just want to see this alternator. Wow. Yeah, that's freaking hot. I just started this thing. Let's see if I can get a... Look at that. Look at everything else. And that's going through the block. That's 166 degrees. Look at this alternator. I'm trying to get a shot of the heat signature here. Yeah, this thing is hot. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks. All right. All right. So, sorry about that, guys. The uh, tank just arrived from our Mustang. So, let's see. Two hundred and fifty plus degrees here. This thing is, yeah, that alternator is fried. Oh, okay. So we need an alternator. That's for certain. Um, I'm gonna call this guy up, let him know, and we'll be back. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So as you can see, our alternator's in, and we are no longer having an issue with um, charging. This is working properly. What I want to do is, I want to get a, uh, I want to get a shot of the alternator through the thermal camera now, as well. And as you can see, um, we're not overheated. Okay, it's a good thing. It's not burning up any longer as it was. That thing was scolding when I took it off. So we've had this thing running for a little bit now. And I want to just show you. I don't want you to think I just started it cold. And, um, you know, showing you the alternator is not hot. You see the difference. Okay, we're at 70-something uh, degrees. So as you can see, uh, there's a big difference between 200 and change almost 300 degrees uh, this is where we should be so it proves that um, the thermal imaging is great for you know verifying things or for quick checks on things as well uh, you can obviously see that if an alternator is getting that hot we have a problem um, I hope it helps somebody I hope you enjoyed it and um, I seem to be doing a lot of stuff with thermal imaging lately I'm, uh, I'm really liking this thing uh, since I got it it's been a uh, 
a pleasure to use honestly it uh, it makes it makes sure work of a lot of stuff and it's used you can use it in so many different applications that it's amazing on uh, automotive so that's that thanks guys enjoy